A program designed to give high school students the college experience took them to the Civil Rights Institute for a unique literature lesson. Fox 6 News anchor Sarah Verser shows us how students dissected Dr. King's famous letter from the Birmingham jail in a lesson they'll never forget. Highlighters in hand, their eyes are peeled, looking for meanings behind the meanings of words so sharp they can cut and heal at the same time. And he finishes off again with another metaphor. Let us all hope that the dark clouds of racial prejudice will soon pass away and the deep fog of misunderstanding will be lifted from our fear-drenched communities. Dr. Jacqueline Wood, an associate professor in African American literature at UAB, is the guide leading students from Birmingham, Jefferson, and Greene counties on this journey into Martin Luther King Jr.'s letter from the Birmingham jail. She is teaching in what might be considered the perfect classroom for this lesson, the Civil Rights Institute. These students have studied Dr. King as a figure of American history, but as they read this letter and follow with their pens, line upon line, they get to see with new eyes a masterful literary artist. For years now, I have heard the word wait. It rings in the ear of every Negro with piercing familiarity. Repetition is a familiar literary device King used to build his case for civil disobedience while he sat alone in that jail cell in April of 1963. Ramsey High's Sidney Page says the words are so transparent, you feel like you are there too. Not only do you just hear it, but you can also feel it and imagine yourself going through that. They are totally amazed at the power of this piece. And the recognition of the power of language is there for them. They, we don't even have to tell them. They all have been saying, it's just so good. I didn't think I could read this big, long thing, but it was just so good. Michael Chambers II of the Alabama Humanities Foundation says there's more he wants them to get from the program. They have an idea of how to masterfully and artfully um, dissolve conflicts and they're going to meet conflicts throughout the rest of their lives and they're going to have to write and appeal to people um, with different emotions, different logic. Classic Martin Luther King, wouldn't you say? In Birmingham, Sarah Verser, Fox 6 News.